Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our hamster bedding bin that has African night crawlers in it. So this system was doing really, really well at the beginning, and then I started running out of food to feed them, and now it seems to be kind of going downhill. We're going to take a look at it. There was a feeding 14 days ago, and you know, of hamster bedding material that's used, and we're going to see how they're doing. If we're probably going to remove some worms depending on how they look. Uh, but I'm hoping to add those to my other African Nightcrawler system in the Urban Worm Bag. So with that, we're going to kind of wind this system down, I think. We're going to start taking these worms out, let them finish up what's in there, and kind of harvest this material and get it out there into my garden. And we'll go down to one system with the used hamster bedding, which being my Red Wiggler system. So with that, let's take a look at the system, see how it's doing, see how the worms are doing, and start harvesting some of these worms out of there. All right, here is our tote or busboy bin that has our African night crawlers with the hamster bedding. And as you can see, 517 here, it is the first. So that's 14 days. And it looks like from this, let's just go ahead and flip this over. I'm not seeing any worms on the surface here. I didn't see anything through there. I do see a couple of what looks like maybe fungus gnats maybe crawling on here. I'm not too worried about them. It doesn't look like there's too many. I saw maybe one or two fly out. Um, there's one more that just flew out, but I'm not too worried. I've got a, a catcher that'll, you know, the bug zapper that'll take care of those. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side. And this material, like, it just doesn't look as good as it did in the past. This is sort of strange to me. I really thought that this would look a little bit better. We've got already a worm right here that doesn't look very healthy. It looks very lethargic. Um, usually these worms are kind of running around. So it kind of worries me a little bit. But let's go ahead and dig in here and just take a look and see what we find. This is the side we fed on. And originally this system was just humming along. And we've got one worm in here. And actually, there we go. Now that worm's starting to move. And actually, I did say I was going to harvest some worms here. So let me start pulling out some of these worms. We're going to let the system repopulate, but we'll grab the worms. Actually, it was a lot more lively once I put it in the container. Uh, but we're going to grab some of these worms out of here. And we're going to put them in a container. And we're going to add those to our other system. But like you can see, there's a lot of bedding in here. And they don't seem to be going through quite as rapidly as they were. I mean, last time it was like within a day that seemed like the, the you know, came back into like a week and all the bedding was gone. But we're going to go ahead and grab these worms. They look a little healthier now that I'm putting them in the container. They're moving around a little bit more. I was a little bit worried about how lethargic, but you can see there's just not nearly as many worms in here as I expected. It's This, this system has kind of gone up and down with the, uh, with the bedding material. So as I added a lot of bedding, they really sort of really perked up and then they kind of just dropped off really quick. But this material also just doesn't look very nearly as good. It's too moist, it looks like a little bit. But I don't know, it's a different bedding material too. I'm not adding the paper bedding that I had. It's a different type of bedding material. There's another worm right there. And I know I'm grabbing out a lot of the worms in here. I figure there's probably more babies in here that I'm gonna miss. So I'm hoping that they'll still be able to work through this material, but I'm going to grab a whole bunch of worms out of here, and we're going to add them to our other system. Oh, I think I missed a couple right here. So and we're going to see how many we can get out of here. They look a little smaller than normal, um, and as I said, a little bit more lethargic maybe compared to how they were in the past. But it looks it's funny because it, the, the material looks... See, look at that one whipping around like crazy. Um, the material just it looks plenty moist, but it doesn't... It feels kind of like, I don't know, it feels soggy, I guess would be the, the word I'm looking for. It feels like just kind of soggy. Let me push this down just a little bit like that. There we go. So I'm not pr impressed with the, as impressed with the material as I was when I first did this. Just keep going here. We're just grabbing the worms out of here. This is a nice big one. And I have to say, I've, I've cut my, my African night crawlers, the population ballooned very quickly and then it quickly died down um, with this system. So now I'm seeing a few fungus gnats coming out of here. As I'm not too worried about them, although I don't really want them flying on my face. Here we go. Here's, a, here's some worms right here that look nice and healthy, nice and big. There we go. That's what we're looking for, these worms right here like this. This is what I kind of expected to see in the system. It was loaded with them at one point where I was really worried about them. They were just as I said, whipping through food, but also I was worried about them just starting to shrink in size a lot because of how many of them were in here. It seemed like they were doing really, really well. The food was perfect for them. And then all of a sudden, it just seemed like they just slowed down overnight. 
especially as the moisture content changed. You can see, I mean, this just, this just doesn't feel quite the same as it did the first time I did this. And I don't know if it's something with the bedding material, this uh, KT bedding material with the Aspen shavings. Uh, maybe it's just not quite as good as the cardboard paper that I had before for bedding material. There's a really long one right here. Um, I switched to the KT bedding material because the cardboard is so, uh, so horrible with dust. Um, my son's room, it was so bad that we had to vacuum out his uh, smoke detector to stop it from going off constantly. We we're doing that about, um, I want to say about every month or so because of how dusty the material was for this other carefree bedding material um, that we had going in there. Now the aspen shavings aren't dusty, but uh, the hamster doesn't really care for them. He just sort of leaves those down below. I've just been using them in the system to sort of use them up, but he doesn't really care for those uh, that type of uh, material. So that's where we're trying to switch it out with this KT stuff. He seems to like it, but it's uh, instead of paper, it's like a, I want to say not medical waste, but it's like a cotton and things like that that were leftovers in a facility. And if they maybe don't, don't quite break down quite as fast. Oh, look at this. Here we go. We're finding some more in here. This is making me feel a little better um, as I see some more just kind of working through this material. It looks, it's funny. The material looks dry, but sticky. So I don't know. I don't know what, if this needs just more moisture or what it is. I'm not seeing like a lot of moisture on the bottom here. There we go. We're getting, getting some of these smaller worms too. So we've got a mixture of worm sizes in here. We've got some really big ones. We've got some juveniles. Um, haven't seen too many really small babies. But surprisingly, there's more worms in here. I was really getting worried when I first looked in, but it's, it's looking a lot better. So they definitely are in this bin. You can see they're really good, good quality. I mean, let's just take a look here real quick. You can see the worms that are in this tray. So it looks like there's a, there's quite a few in there. They're gonna need some moisture in there in a second um, before I add them to the other system probably. They look a little dry and I think that maybe the system is running dry. Maybe that's the problem. Um, I know I had some issues, especially with the heat, lamp, the heat mat that I had it sitting on where it would dry out the bottom, you know, and then it would get too hot in there. It was just, it seemed to really move around in temperature wise. What are these worms? We got there's actually quite a few in here. I'm actually quite impressed right now. I was really worried. Let's just kind of move this stuff back over here. Let's check out the other side and see if anything's on the other side over here. So this is a lot of bedding material. I don't want to take out all the worms because I do want them to continue working through this stuff. But let's just see what's over here. So we got another worm over there. Let's flip this over a little bit. You can see they're really good at working through this material. I mean, it's all, all this stuff on the other side seems to be all gone as we dig through here you know we see this is the material that we're hoping that they'll work through let's just flip this over a little bit it looks like they're all in that one side I'm not finding really too many worms over on this side oh, there's one over here so we got one worm on this side but again, um, as I'm digging through here, these worms do look a lot smaller than they used to be. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out a little bit. And I think this needs some moisture. I mean, it, it doesn't seem, it seems sticky wet, but it doesn't seem really that moist. It seems almost, I don't know, it seems muddy, which is kind of strange, um, but it doesn't feel quite right to me. Um, I don't know if, it, I'm afraid if I let, let it dry out anymore, it's going to be too dry. But at the same time, I have to say, I don't want to add too much moisture to it. And it feels like some of this stuff is just sort of sticking uh, sticking together and balling up. Another worm right here. Slide them to the system. And one more over here. So, all right, so those are the last worms we're going to grab out of here. There's still some more worms in here, obviously. But i got to keep some in here because they're going to keep working with this, this system. I'm hoping that we can get this to kind of stop balling up. And maybe that's just the material we use. I do find some materials ball up more than others. So with that, I think we're gonna add a little bit of water to this. Let me just take off my glove here. 
I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. And then we'll take a look at these worms. And we're going to get these into another system. And we'll do an update on that tomorrow. So we're just going to add a little bit of water. This is water with BTI mix. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle a little bit on here. Maybe just a little bit more. And there was a little bit of fungus gnat and, and fruit fly activity, but not too much. So I'm not too worried about that. Of course, we're not adding any food. We're going to wind this system down. We're going to let them finish this stuff off. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull this up. And we're going to go ahead and add our label right here. We still, last feeding was on this side. But we're going to put in our label right here saying 6-1. We're going to go ahead and cover this back up. And have this uh, sit on the sh shelf a little longer. Try to finish up. And then we'll come back and empty it out completely. Um, but let me just show you how many worms we got out of the system. And remember, this wasn't all of them. But overall, it was a decent haul. So as you can see, there's just a few worms in here. But this should be enough to kind of maybe get that other system repopulated. Let's just scrape them all towards the center. Um, they, they're going to bring over some material with them that's nice and heavy in microbial activity. And we're hopefully we'll get them going in this urban worm bag, along with some of the other worms that are in there. Lure them into one spot and try to get them to start multiplying in there. So that's it for this update. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please let me know down, down in the comment section and uh, I'll get back to you. And again, thank you for watching.